Well, hello again, my friends. Jason Levine here. So now that you've seen sort of the overview of what Audition will look like on the Mac, let's actually deep dive into some of the features. Again, a lot of these are going to feel familiar to you. They feel like they used to in Audition on the PC. They feel like they used to in Cool Edit, but they're entirely new, better, faster, groovier, and they're coming to the Mac. Let's take a little look. Well, we're back inside Adobe Audition on the Mac, and one of the first things I want to talk to you about, one of, the, again, the core competencies of Audition, noise reduction and audio restoration. So what I have here, this is a voiceover. This is actually the voiceover, the lead-in to this, uh, to the previous video. So take a quick listen to this. When I'm able to tell you that Adobe Audition is coming to the Mac. Now, even if you can't hear, there's clearly some hiss here, and you can just take a look at it right there. You can see that there's stuff happening when I'm not talking. Again, this is where if we go into our spectral frequency display and zoom in, you can very clearly see that we have some noise, and again, in this range here, we're looking at probably 60 cycle hum, and then we've got lots of kind of mess, lots of gook in this section there. Gook, the official word, of course, for noise reduction. So I can actually come in here, I can make a selection, I can listen to this. Pretty consistent, I can right click, capture a noise print, it captures the noise print, and now I can go into uh, my noise reduction dialog and I can modify this. Now again, notice we've got adaptive noise, auto click removal, phase correction, dehumming, hiss reduction, and noise reduction. When I go into noise reduction, you're going to see it's this classic effect, slightly redesigned UI, but it's the one you've always known and loved, but it's got new bits and pieces under the hood. Even better, even more transparent and unbelievably fast because you'll see I'm going to disable it first and start playing back. I'll turn it on and you'll see that we're going to get our noise reduction and playback will never stop. Well, hello, my friends. Jason Levine here, worldwide product evangelist for Adobe. And what can I say? It's been years, years and years. Yes, indeed. Years and years. You've got your spectral decay settings. You've got all the classic settings here, but with new technology powering it, making it even more powerful, even the ability to save presets. Hooray! Taking that a step further, you'll also notice that we have this new diagnostics panel here, which is going to allow you to very quickly do things like de-clicking, de-clipping, right, uh, deleting silence, and even marking audio. The great thing about de-clicking and de-clipping, again, very simple implementation here, just a couple sliders to get the job done, functions very, very quickly, but marking audio is something that people have always loved. So what I can do, I can choose mark audio, I can click scan, it's going to scan and it's going to tell me again the locations and the durations of all the different sections. Click on mark all. Boom. And what did it do? You can see it made all of these markers here as I highlight them. It selects them for you. And again now as we play these back. Adobe Creative Suite and an HD Projects Photoshop. The industry's best tapeless workflow. Simple, easy, perfect, beautiful marking sections of audio. Now friends, again, there's even more. So let's talk a bit more about working with effects. And one of the new things that we're introducing here, which is this totally modeless capability. So if I go over here and I open up my effects rack, now again, this is something that you had in the previous version of Audition. This is going to allow you to stack multiple effects. So if I come over here and I start playback, I can first go into something like our, uh, perhaps we just go into special and go into mastering. Let's go ahead and excite this a bit probably a bit too much, and widen it, and loudness maximize it, because that's what you're supposed to do. Make it as loud as possible. No, please don't do that. And come in here and again, choose something like our multiband compressor, making it even louder and louder and louder. You can see we're really pegging the meters here. But again, playback never stops. What if we wanted to continue, but we actually wanted to hear a particular section? I can highlight a section here, and now it's only going to play that section while I'm affecting it. I then have the ability to process the selection only or the entire file, so I can apply that and it applies nice and big and loud and punchy, and we're good to go. Now taking that a step further, as mentioned in the previous video, we also now have support for multi-channel files, which of course means that you have surround reverb in both the multi-track and surround reverb processing in the edit waveform view as well. So I'm gonna come up here and go to effects and reverb, surround reverb, and now you'll see that I can choose a preset, so let me just go ahead and scrub through this first. And you'll notice that even as I scrub through it, we still get level metering because, again, um, it's modeless, right? So it'll keep working. Let's go ahead and choose a preset, something like Bitter Hallway. And you can see now that we've got capabilities to adjust the center input, the LFE input as well. You've got high bit rate impulses here. And then you've got your output settings all here, including your wet-dry mix. 
So again, one of the areas where Audition has always had great strength was in its analysis, right? So when you're preparing audio or mastering audio for Blu-ray or DVD or the web or CD audio, the ability to analyze your files to deliver perfect, beautiful audio, and audio that isn't clipped, audio that doesn't have any DC offset, and you'll actually know all the attributes of your audio before you deliver it. Well, this was always accessible through the Amplitude Statistics panel, which still exists here. Now, of course, you've got your frequency analysis here as well. What's so cool about Amplitude Statistics, this too is now a non-modal dialog, which means that I can scan, I can scan my file. Again, it just scans very quickly. I'm playing back, I can scan it again here. It's scanning, and I can actually see if I have any clipped samples, the actual bit depth, if there's any DC offset, so that I can repair, I can fix these things before I deliver it. And because this too is modeless, it means that I can stick this here, either adjacent to my frequency analysis here, and just let it run, or I can open up other files, check them out, scan it, boom, fast, so fast, and I can see, okay, this voiceover, yeah, we've got some clipped samples here, we're actually at 32-bit float, we've got some DC offset, which we'd probably want to correct, and very quickly repair and fix my audio before delivering it to its final destination format. Well, my friends, I sure do hope you enjoyed that overview of Adobe Audition on the Mac. If you want to stay informed and know what's happening, be sure to sign up on the Labs page here. We will let you know as things develop. What can we say? It's happening. Adobe Audition is coming to the Mac. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.